Everything in my workflow starts with a Notion score. And I'm going to use this score for the purposes of this illustration. And this is from the Notion stock library. If you haven't looked at the Notion library of, kind of standard repertoire of pieces, uh, you should check it out. This is Anthony Dvorak from his Symphony No. 9 in E minor, the New World Symphony. And this is an excerpt from the beginning of the second movement, the Largo. The first thing I'm going to do to prepare this is I'm going to save this as a new version. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually modify the end tempo information. I'm going to re-record the end tempo of this piece in order to give it more of a humanistic phrasing and not quite so machine-like. So that's going to be the first step. I've adjusted the end tempo timing, so let's give this a listen. All right, so if you're not familiar with it, the end tempo function in Notion is really fantastic. It offers you the opportunity to really put a personal mark on the music and to actually perform it the way you want it performed with all, all the subtle changes in timing and phrasing that are possible within the music. So a couple more things that uh, I know from experience I want to do with this score before I uh, prepare it for export to Studio One. The first thing that I'm going to do is I always add a measure at the uh, beginning of the piece and I identify that as a pickup measure. That gives me, uh, in this case, since it's common time, four beats to prepare for whatever it may be at the beginning of the piece uh, when it transfers over to Studio One. I'm also going to add usually about four measures at the end of the piece as well. And I'll go ahead and set the end uh, ending bar where it should be. Uh, you can have two ending bars in Notion. By the way, it doesn't make any difference. The piece will play through the ending until it comes to the last measure regardless. So those are just two minor items for preparation. I'm going to save this, and we're going to move on to the next step, which is assigning Notion rule sets for instruments.